Uh, I think we're ready. We had a couple of good sessions. We we tried everything we could in terms of trying to get back home quickly, uh, sleep in our own beds, um, recover, get the spirits um, high. Um, you know, some team bonding, but some recovery at the same time. That was good. And, and like I said, training sessions, sessions have been good. Quick turnaround, but I think we're ready to go. Um, without asking you to uh, say anything that'll get you in trouble, what was your reaction to how the goalkeeper of the year voting panned out? Um, I'm trying to focus on the game tomorrow, honestly. Um, so maybe um, some some room to comment at some other point. But right now, focus is for tomorrow. Try to achieve something with the team and, and get in the next round. Just getting to that game, um, what's the mentality uh, with the 2-1 deficit? And do you think that will uh, maybe make you guys kind of start out on the front foot and try and attack earlier? Uh, I think regardless, uh, you know, if you would have been 2-0 up or or three zero behind or two one down you know we're at home i think y you you have to come out on the front foot um have to really try to go after them make them uncomfortable as early as possible and 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 i mean make it hell for 90 minutes for them so uh, i think if you can establish a good rhythm early on it's going to make it difficult for them hopefully they can get a goal but it's going to be uh, a finding a balance you know we don't want to leave ourselves exposed uh, you know they 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 proved on that on that first goal um that, you know, a couple of deft touches, uh, they're they're more than capable of it. We, we knew that. I mean, Valeri is it's one of the best in the league, and, and that's what he does. He doesn't need too many touches to to set up a teammate and then a good finish. So uh, uh, we're going to have to be very, very sharp um, and, and play that balance, uh, make sure that we, we do put pressure on them. But they're most dangerous uh, on the counter. Um, so, so we have to be defensively sound when we are in possession. This organization is so used to being in the playoffs, uh, and once again, you guys have delivered another opportunity for the fans to come out. Uh, what kind of message do you have for them? Uh, for the fans, keep yeah. keep doing what you're doing. You know, we've, we've our support's been fantastic. You know, and just just on short notice for for so many to go down to Portland and support us, that was amazing. Uh, honestly, I expected that, and uh, it's it, it still blows uh, blows my mind though to see to see that. Uh, to see that support consistently, you know, it's it's obviously it's a it's a time commitment, it's a, it's a emotional commitment, it's a it's a it's a money, you know, financial commitment. So uh, we know we have uh, amazing fans, and now at home uh, um, we expect them to be there with us, and, and I know they will be. And uh, when I go and move on to the next round together, what are some keys for you in defending such quality set pieces from Valeri? Um, uh, first and foremost, not give away silly set pieces helps. Uh, I think in the first half down there, we gave away too many silly uh, free kicks. Uh, if you know we've done the initial defending and made them made them turn around uh, and face their own goal, then there's no need to jump in and they're not going anywhere. So that's something I think we can do better and learn a little bit there. Um, and then when they have corners, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's it's about putting uh, winning your individual battles. Putting a body on on on, uh, on opponents and not let him have a free header, because he's going to put in good service. We we know that that's that we have to expect that. Um, he's very very consistent with it, so uh, it's going to happen. We have to get ready for it. As a pairing, how are Roman and Kim different from Chad and Kim, or even Chad and Roman? Well, for one, uh, uh, Kim obviously has to move over to the other position, um, and and then uh, I mean. A little bit different. I think Chad uh, plays more conservatively and and maybe drops back and keeps the play in front of him. Um, Roman is maybe a tiny bit more aggressive than Chad, I'd say. Uh, and Kim Kim's been uh, quite aggressive, very um, very athletic for his size. Um, but I thought when Roman came in, we did well. You know, it's uh, uh, kind of expected uh, Portland to to try to go for the kill. Um, you know. F kind of scoring two quick goals and, and us losing two very important players. Um, it's a great opportunity if I was on that team to, to keep pushing for it. So uh, uh, I don't sense they, they pushed a little bit, but we absorbed quite well. Uh, and that's a testament to the guys that came off the bench and played well.